Researchers in Sweden recently published a paper showing how DNA from soil and bulk samples could help identify both flora and fauna biodiversity. In this study, they collected arthropod samples from over 40 locations across Sweden to compare metabarcoding and metagenomic DNA analysis methods to determine which best captures biodiversity from bulk DNA. Traditional metabarcoding methods can lead to biases because some DNA samples are amplified more easily than others in the PCR process, making them appear to have a larger community. Metagenomics, however, gives a better snapshot of genetic diversity and plant-insect interactions. This does come with the early stage difficulty of requiring more computing power, and it is limited by the size of the database. They found that while metabarcoding was able to detect rare species more effectively, the metagenomic method was able to detect threatened species, show the interactions of plants and insects, and was even able to measure genetic diversity and population origins. With more studies and data collections taking place, databases for metagenomics will continue to grow and provide accurate biodiversity studies with minimal impact from environmental DNA. Scan the QR code for the full research paper and subscribe for more news on the latest research.